What's up guys? Welcome to the month of March. Today is Thursday, March 1st, 2012, and this is definitely the month of the iPad. I know that we have totally killed the iPad 3 over the past couple of months, uh, for the past couple of years, really uh, anticipating the higher resolution display, more power, uh, 4G LTE networking, more so over the past few weeks and months. But it's finally time. Apple has confirmed the, uh, the date here, uh, along with this image that they sent on their invitation, says we have something you really have to see and touch. So we're presuming this is going to be the high DPI, high resolution. It's actually 1440p plus uh, 2048 by 1536 resolution iPad 3 display, which is going to be a beautiful retina display similar to the iPhone 4 and 4S and the iPod Touch 4. Um, so if we see a quad core processor, more RAM, better battery, and 4G, uh, 4G LTE networking, I wrote a, a different post, I'll link it down below, of uh, everything that we can expect to see. Then there's the ongoing rumor of a smaller iPad, an iPad 3 mini. That may drive the price of that device lower than the current iPad 2, and then the price of the full-sized iPad 3 higher by about $70. Those are the rumors that we've heard. Uh, so only time will tell. We'll definitely have to keep our eyes open with that and see what we see, what they do with the next iPad and, and its pricing. And then there's the rumor that is quite probable that they'll leave an iPad 2 on the market, an 8 gig for sale, maybe for $299, $350, $399. It'll just be cheaper if some customers don't want to shell out all the money to get maybe some features they don't need in an iPad 2 or, or 3. They can still get an iPad 2 for a cheaper price. That could be great for uh, regular consumers in the education uh, market as well as business. Uh, I really think it's a win-win situation. They've done that with the iPhone several times in the past. There's a, a 8 gig iPhone 4 for sale right now. I know a ton of people who have gotten those and they love them. So um, again, we'll have to keep our eyes open with that. This is just a quick, a quick update video. I did want to talk about the iPad availability. They're opening a new store. And when I say they, I mean Apple, of course. Apple's opening a new store in Houston, Texas on Friday, March 16th, a week and a half after Apple will be talking about the iPad a week from yesterday on March 7th. Um, so rumor kind of says right now that since they're going to be opening that Apple store, maybe that'll be a good time for them to release the new iPad. And for me personally, I hope that's not the case. I'm leaving for San Diego and Los Angeles, California on college visits that Friday the 16th at 6 a.m. from Cleveland to Houston. I'm flying through Houston to San Diego for four days and then four days in uh, Universal City, L.A., Hollywood area. Um, visiting three colleges out there and vacation with my dad. It should be a great time. But anyways, if that is the case, I'm going to spend my day in the air and in San Diego by noon, their time, Pacific time, on that Friday. So that's not going to be uh, following my annual tradition of buying an iPad on release day. Whatever. I will buy one out there if that's the case, and we actually don't see it until the 16th. Personally, I hope it's closer to the 9th or earlier that week so I can get one here and be able to use it on the flights out there and stuff like that. But I will definitely buy one out there, and I'll try to film it and get a video up. Uh, I did sell my iPad 2 today, so I got some monies for that, and that's always good. Uh, I did sell it early because the gentleman that bought it is taking a trip. He leaves on Saturday, today's Thursday, and he wanted to have the iPad for the uh, flight. I think he's going to Davenport, and then Vegas, and then North Carolina, and then back. He's a wedding photographer, so he's all over the place. Uh, so I did sell that today. That is gone. I have the money now. That'll go in the bank tomorrow, and I am looking uh, forward definitely to the iPad 3. So leave some comments down below. and read the post about what we have to expect. I made a different video on that. But this is just an update about the likely uh, the likelihood of an iPad 2 and an 8 gig capacity being offered and then the availability of the device itself. Uh, so that's going to be it. I'll talk to you guys either tomorrow if something comes up, early next week, Wednesday at the latest, recapping what Apple talked about that day. Um, sites to watch, sites to monitor during the event. I, the best one is, is hands down Mac Rumors. I've always liked Mac Rumors. They have great content. It's very well edited and put together during the event. It's very up to date. Um, I let's see, that's going to be on Wednesday. I will not be available to be doing anything live stream, tech and forum, Twitter. Uh, so Mac Rumors is going to be your your ultimate source to be able to see that. But as I said a million times by now, just an update video. Leave your thoughts and comments and write me some jokes down below, and I will talk to you in a future video. Subscribe if you like the channel. It's 9.58 p.m. Good night.